Hi, I'm meteorologist Lisa Spencer. How would you like to learn a little bit about the weather? Now is a great time. Well, first off, let's talk a little bit about lightning. When we talk about lightning, we're talking about thunderstorms, right? So you know those three basic cloud types? We've got cirrus clouds, the high thin wispy clouds, we've got stratus clouds, those are the sheet light clouds, and then we have cumulus clouds. Well, see, that's a cumulus cloud right there. And this is a cumulonimbus cloud. That's where the thunderstorms live. So inside this big cloud, you've got ice particles, you've got water droplets, and as you can imagine, they're all bumping into each other. And that's going to make for some pretty interesting things going on inside this cloud. So when we've got all this collision of this stuff going on, we have got positive and negative charges that develop in that cloud. So a lot of electricity is being created, right? Well, at the top, we usually have positive. The bottom, it's negative, and on the ground, some positive as well. So all this is building up inside these thunderstorm clouds until finally it is released. And the energy from the negative charge meets the leader from the positive charge, and wham, that's when you get a flash coming out of that thunderstorm. And that, of course, is what we call lightning. Now, positive strikes can occur from the storm amble right behind me. Did you see that strike? And those can really be very deadly. So we want to be extra careful. That's why you need to know what to do whenever we have a thunderstorm around. So here's a few things to think about. First off, go inside when you hear thunder. And that's a good time to do a little review. Which is faster, the speed of light or the speed of sound? So do you see something first or do you hear it? Well, if you said the speed of light, you are right. So when the lightning occurs, you'll wait and you can hear that thunder because thunder is the sound that lightning makes. And a lot of times it seems like it just happens right on top of you. Well, that's because that thunderstorm is likely right on top of you. But you can use this little trick when you see the lightning and you wait and you count one, two, three, four, five, and then you hear the thunder. That means that thunderstorm is a mile away from you. And I like to think that probably way back when, before we had radar, that that's the way folks found out if the thunderstorm was moving toward them or away from them. You try that next time you hear a thunderstorm nearby or you see that lightning. But you want to make sure you're inside, right? When thunder roars, go indoors. Can you say that one? When thunder roars, go indoors. You got it. All right, and one thing you do not want to do whenever you're in a thunderstorm event not outside, of course, but even if you're inside, you don't want to use corded electronics, like you don't want to be blow drying your hair during a thunderstorm. And here's one for you. You want to stay away from water. So obviously you don't want to be in the swimming pool, but it's a great excuse not to do the dishes that night or take a bath because electricity can travel through water. And of course it can travel through anything that's plugged into an outlet. And if lightning strikes your house, you don't want to be messing with either of those things. So just come, something to keep there in mind. Now check this out. Lightning strikes, yeah, they're hair-raising experiences. These are two brothers, and right before lightning struck where they were standing, their hair started to stand on end. That happens. Remember, we've got electrical charges forming inside of that thunderstorm. So I've got a fun little experiment for you. Hang on just a second. Try this one. You can get your hair to stand up like those brothers and like this little boy. All you need is a balloon and you need your hair or someone else's. You can rub it. I don't want to mess mine up. You can rub it on your hair and it will stand right up. But you don't want to have hairspray or mousse or anything like that on your hair. So fun experiment for you to try. Hope you'll join us for some more weather lessons right here on News 4.